हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सिल्पर एग्जांपलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन हाउ टू यूज ट्राई कैच थ्रो फाइनली कीवर्ड्स इन अपेक्स प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी एक्सेप्शन मेथड्स नाउ सी इफ यू सर्च ऑन गूगल लाइक सेल्फोर्स एक्सेप्शन मेथड्स यू विल गेट दिस फर्स्ट लिंक सो हियर इट इज रिटर्न एक्सेप्शन क्लास एंड बिल्ट इन एक्सेप्शन इफ यू ओपन दिस लिंक सो सी it will open like this and if you scroll down so here you can find common exception methods now see what are the methods get calls so it returns exception object see returns the cause of exception as an exception object so it returns cause of exception as an exception object but when it will return when we have said cause of exception By using init cause method, so at that time we will get cause of the exception as a exception object. But when when we are setting it, right? By using init cause method, okay. Get line number, so it returns line number from where exception was thrown. Line number from where we are getting exception. Get message, so it will return error message. Get stack stress string, so see it will return from which block. we got the exception line number column number okay everything it will return from which block name of the block then line number and column number this thing will be written by this method get stack stress string then get type name it returns type of exception such as dml exception list exception math exception and so on so what is the type of exception for example math exception so it will return type of the exception init cause so already we have seen it sets the cause of exception if one hasn't already been set so it will set cause of the exception and which parameter we have to pass exception object okay then next is set message so if we want to set any error message so that we can do by using this set message method now see we will see one simple example okay so see here we have taken previous example we are dividing 10 by 0 now see so that statement we have mentioned in try block exception will be thrown so that will get handled by this catch block right and here in this catch block we are calling get cause method get message method get line number method get stack stress string method get type name method right we will run this and we will find out what output we are getting now see i am clicking on execute will select this checkbox debug only now see so see cause null here we got cause as null object but if we have set cause by init cause method then we might have got object exception object as an output message so this is error message and what error message we got divide by 0 then line number at what line we got the exception stack stress so see block name so here anonymous block because there was no name for that block anonymous block line number and column number so see column number is one because uh, starting from the first column right so that complete line from the first column we are getting the error that's why there is column one then type name so what is the type of the exception math exception so in this way we can use exception methods in apex program so friends i hope you like this video if as yes, then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you